Hi, English 130. Uh, welcome to our finals week instructional video. Uh, this will be the last communication that we have as a whole class. Um, so I just want to take a moment to make sure that we're on the same page about all of your assignments and then moving forward, what you can expect for grades. And I want to answer some questions that are coming up frequently from students. So first of all, um, your inquiry paper is due today. So your final draft of your inquiry paper should be ready for me to read tomorrow. So I'll start getting into those next week. And when I say final draft, I mean it is the same paper that you've been working on since day one in this class. So you should still have all of your peer feedback in the form of marginal comments on there. You should have my comments on there from last week. And then you should have went ahead and revised based on peer feedback and on my feedback and on the tutor feedback that you received. So all of those changes should have happened within that same document. There is no need to create any other documents in this class. If you, for some reason, already created multiple drafts, you need to make sure that I am reading one that says first name, last name, inquiry paper. That is what I will read when I'm doing your final assessment. And again, I want all those comments in there. Please do not go back and resolve all of the comments. Uh, that's on the peer review guidelines. We talked about in that, that in class multiple times and I've addressed it here in the videos. Do not resolve the comments. Of course, I understand that sometimes they are deleted throughout the revision process. Again, that's not a problem. You should have lots of feedback in there. So one or two comments getting erased should not be an issue. Um, however, that copy and paste activity we did where you went in and identified the different moves, borrowing, illustrating, um, highlighting counterclaims, etc. You're going to want to take out any highlights that are like green or pink or purple. Um, that aren't comments, but that are actual, like you use the highlighting tool. Um, go ahead and take those out now. Uh, you can just control A and then go up to the toolbar and remove the highlights um, so that your paper looks polished and clean. Also, um, this is the time for all of the formatting to be correct. So you need to look at that MLA style sample paper. It's on the bottom of your inquiry uh, research paper assignment. All of your resources that we've been going over over the past weeks are on that assignment. So that paper can help you with the final formatting, including the Works Cited page. So if you haven't had a chance to complete the Works Cited page, please do that as soon as possible. Um, then some frequently asked questions I'm getting. Uh, I'm getting questions regarding the final reflection. So I'm going to go over that assignment with you right now. And then I'm going to go over the final assessment rubric with you, which is how I grade you and how you will see um, how I've evaluated your work. And then we'll talk about expectations as far as grades, um, when you should expect to see those, and what you can expect. So let's take a moment. I'm going to share screen here, and we're going to look at this final reflection assignment together. So. Even today, I'm getting questions about where to find this assignment. Like everything in our class, you find it in the calendar, okay? So just click on these links down here and they will take you to the final reflection, okay? You'll recall in our original grading contract, you had several self-evaluations and then one, the last one was a final reflection. I've just adapted the self-evaluation since we've um, been working from home with the shelter in place order. So here are a few questions, the bullet points here I would like you to answer and you have a few options. You can write a paper or you can create a video like what I am doing right now um, and share that with me. You will still need to share that video in your Google Docs. So you'll need to upload it to YouTube and then um, copy and paste a link that I can click on and watch. Um, if for some reason you're not able to share a link that way, uh, text me and we can talk, but you have a full week. This is not due until next Sunday. So I would like you to try to post it to YouTube. You can be, even make it private. Um, but just put the link in your 
um, sorry, I'm thinking through what I just said. Uh, you'll need to make it so that I can see the video. Um, so I need to be able to click on the link and be able to, to see your, your YouTube video. If not, you can just send it to me using uh, Remind. But please let me know uh, if you're going to send it to me on Remind. I would prefer a link on YouTube. Um, okay. So here are the questions that you ask or that you respond to. And of course, like any other paper, you're going to want to make sure that it's Times New Roman font 12 point double space and that there's multiple paragraphs, just like your first few self-evaluations. Okay, so I hope that that was helpful reviewing the final reflection assignment. Again, that one is due next Sunday. So you have a few extra days there to complete that one. Then let's take a look at the final assessment rubric. Uh, Here it is. So you'll notice that there'll be a rubric like this in your folder. It's probably completed down to the critical reader response. That was the mid-semester um, assignment that I uh, evaluated. So that one was due on May 1st. So if you've turned it in, if you've turned in a critical reader response, response since then, I'll go back and update your grades to reflect that. Of course, at that time, you hadn't turned your inquiry paper in. Technically, it's not; it wasn't due until today. So I'll go ahead and complete this um, row for your inquiry paper. And then on Sunday, when your final self-evaluations or your final reflections actually are due, Let me change that so it's a little more clear. Final reflection. Okay. Oh, okay. So um, when you finish those, then I'll go ahead and, and um, make some marks on here for you for those. So your name is right here. The first self-evaluation, I just literally copied and pasted whatever grade you said you wanted in this class here. And then I just went through and named who gave you peer review, and then complete or incomplete as far as revisions go. So if you received peer review, the names of your peer reviewers are in there, and then it will say complete here if you revise based on that peer review. Same thing for the critical reader response, and I added another box here for writing center feedback. So if you did peer review, the peer reviewer's names will be in here, writing center feedback will say complete, and then if you revise based on that feedback, it will also say complete here. So remember, everything in this class is complete or incomplete. So you get credit as long as you've done it, all right? So this should not be a mystery to you. You should be able to sort of fill this thing out on your own. You know if you didn't do a part of an assignment, right? So it should not be a surprise to get a few incompletes in here. Now, per the grading contract, if you have multiple incomplete or missing parts or entire assignments, you are no longer eligible for an A or a B. This semester has been extremely challenging, and I understand that you all might be missing parts of the assignment. It doesn't mean that you're going to fail. It just means you are not eligible to earn an A or a B. So I really hope that's clear. Almost no one will fail this class unless they stopped attending before we went online. If you wrote an inquiry paper and you write a final reflection, you will pass this class, okay? So a lot of concerns about grades are honestly unfounded. Like if you have wrote the paper, especially if you've done peer review, if you went to the writing center and you completed all your revisions, like you are still eligible for a B. If you've done the critical reader response assignment, you did peer review for that, you went to the writing center and you did your revisions, you're probably eligible for an A as long as you've done the inquiry paper, the final reflection, the critical reader response, those are good to go. Now people have been asking about extra credit. Your extra credit was the critical reader response. So 
that was due on May 1st. So if you didn't complete the critical reader response at that time, it is too late. I no longer have enough time to read more papers and submit your grades on time. So the critical reader response was the level up assignment. If you didn't do that before May 1st, you cannot complete that now. I, I just physically do not have time to reread all your inquiry papers and reread more critical reader responses. So again, if you did a critical reader response, your final reflection and your inquiry paper, you have nothing to worry about. You probably still are meeting all your criteria for an A. If you've done your inquiry paper and the final assessment or the final reflection, you are probably good for your B. If you're missing multiple assignments, you've probably earned a C. Um, and then of course, if you stopped attending, that's another issue. Uh, other than that, I hope your questions about grades, you go to the grading contract. All of your questions will be answered there. So please pull up the grading contract if you feel lost. Pull up your assessment rubric. It's already shared with you. You already have half of it complete. And um, by next week, that should be completely um, filled out. And uh, I should be entering your grades at some point next week, okay? So I understand how difficult this semester has been. I want to thank you all for your hard work. And I hope to see you on campus at some point soon. Um, feel free to reach out to me via email during the summer um, if you have any questions or in need of support of any kind. Okay. Have a good uh, rest of your semester. Happy finals week. Good luck. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.